Good morning everybody, it's Monday the 11th of May and it's another week of lockdown teaching. Um, the Prime Minister, Mr Johnson, made an announcement last night which I think basically surprised a few people, shall we say. Um, I don't know how like into it I'm gonna go because obviously at the moment we're still in lockdown phase and unless you know the conditions are met it might not happen but essentially uh, there is a plan for phased returns of schools in England from the 1st of June including reception at year one and year six. I guess if you want my initial thoughts there would be why reception in year one when they're going to find it the hardest to socially distance. Um, I can understand year six to an extent because they need to get ready for high school. Why not year five? Because they are going to have to sit sats next year, presumably. So, you know, we could do with year fives being back because they're missing a lot of learning. So maybe like if you want a young one of the younger year groups then try year one because they've got more chance of socially distancing. Hang on. <coughs> oh. so they've got more chance of socially distancing than reception um but yeah i'm just a bit confused why those specific year group choices the only things i can think of are obviously fs and year one you know they do make a lot of progress at that age and maybe it's the, of course the phonics screen i just don't know i don't understand like the reasoning the logic behind it i can't ask boris obviously unfortunately so yeah we'll just have to wait and see how the land lies after there's a heads meeting this morning and then slt is um later on this afternoon so we'll see just tearing off last week's agenda thingy maybe for this week's um so yeah I've got some geography stuff to plan for tomorrow as well. And I've got some reading to plan for this morning. I've just been scheduling my Google Classroom. So I have like been doing stuff. I've already eaten my breakfast. I'm halfway, three quarters of the way through my coffee. So yeah, I'm on it this morning. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get cracking and uh, we'll see. So it's literally the end of my teaching day right now. It's 20 past three. Um, I have had a little delivery of something I just couldn't like live without basically, <laughs> which sounds really, really, really sad. I appreciate that it does. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's something that I missed from school and um, yeah, I thought I would um, treat myself a little bit. What is life there? I also want to show you, um, sorry, I also want to show you what I've been doing on Google Classroom today. So on that um, Love Books for Kids, I downloaded an extract uh, called Into the Jungle. Uh, so the extract section is completely free and uh, I downloaded that. And then what I've done is just create the questions for the children. So I'll show you the questions that I've like created and the heading that I've made. So it's uh, four inches by 16 inches. I changed that into centimetres because my computer worked in centimetres, but I just searched what it was and typed it in. It's not easy to tell you because it's like point blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, so I made my own heading just in PowerPoint and then just saved it as a JPEG. So that's how I made the headings to match basically. Uh, and then you can just upload them as an image on your Google Classroom if that's what you're using. Um, so I'll show you what it this looks like. The text for, this is for next week on my Google uh, Classroom. So this is the heading that I've made. It matches the one from the book basically. And then I've used Google Forms to create the questions for the children. Um, so some of them are like typing answers, some of them are choosing. Um, yes and no that kind of thing you could do true or false all that sort of stuff so yeah there's plenty of questions here about the text the text was pretty long to be honest um it is based on the jungle book as well so i thought it might be quite it was quite a nice one to choose um but yeah so i made like a custom heading for it and i've done one for the book 
extract from the book for next week. It tells you the total pints value, so there's 35 pints available. And if you click collect the paint thing up in this top corner, that's how you can change the theme and things if you were confused about Google Classroom. There are some really good videos about Google Classroom out there anyways. Um, I'm if no you expert. do want a Google Classroom video or on the things that I have learned about Google Classroom, then feel free to just drop me a comment and I will film one. I've had a request for an Amazon favourites video, which I just don't want it to come across kind of in poor taste because I don't want to increase postal delivery and all that kind of stuff. Also, it's difficult to say what you might find useful. So I will film it, but please don't go thinking that you have to rush out and buy all these things. And, you know, just because I love it doesn't mean you'll necessarily love it. Just, um, yeah, so please just, that video will be coming, but just with a word of caution. And I'll show you what came in the post today. So this is what came from Amazon. And you may recognise uh, this from like, literally last year on my channel when I first got one of these. It seemed to be coming all the rage all of a sudden. Um, however, I have got a really big one at school. And I wanted one for home. And since I can't go to school, and it's not looking like that I'm going to be able to go to school for a while, um, I've got myself a little one for home. I also thought I could maybe use it for baby stuff as well. Although, of course, I can't get it out of the box. something comes wrapped in below like the best thing ever apart from the fact that it's plastic the popping thing so yeah here it is here's the small version of the teacher toolbox it's literally just a toolbox it's by von house i'll link it below it's an affiliate link so if you don't want to use my link then don't click it uh, I'll link the big one and the small one so I've got the big one at school and the small one's going to go out here on my desk uh, people have sprayed them different colours you can spray them if you want a different colour rather than the grey and white but I don't mind the grey and the white to be honest so uh, and then I'm going to make some labels for the front uh, in my display sets that are on the TES again the links below um, there are like labels that fit these basically I've already made them for the previous sets and um, I'll be making one for the new woodland set that's coming out too. So we'll match any decor set. The apple ones that I use on my one at school that match the apple decor set are on the TS in the pack. So they're all there if you want to use my labels. If you want to make your own labels then you just need to measure the drawers basically and um, make your own set of labels. Uh, my friend Taylor has a video on how to do that I'll link that below too so if you want to make your own labels that's fine um, she's got a good video on how to do that so yeah I'm excited there we are now just to decide what I'm keeping in it good morning it's Tuesday the 12th of May today um, <laughs> last night gareth and i did a two-hour antenatal class um one of five it was really good actually gareth really loved it uh it, probably because he didn't have to do any of that particularly alarming business but yeah we'll kind of be talking a bit more about that on the baby vlog anyway so which is coming soon because i'm thinking about splitting the second trimester into two parts because it's getting quite big not the baby just the video <laughs> so today i'm just going to check over the geography planning i'm going to log into google classroom and see what the kids are up to i've got a geography meeting three till four today uh so we'll see how that goes um couple of uh, the staff have got their Google Meets with the kids, mine is tomorrow, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, mm, that's it really. I've got um, some questions to do for uh, another one of the reading texts for the last week of term, if you want to call it that. 
it's a bit bizarre but yeah uh, i'm gonna do those questions uh, this is a job but like off the list when i've had this geography meeting i think the geography work is gonna go up so i'm just gonna get the other bits and bobs that i've got to do done so that <clears throat> i can focus on that basically um I set, i've put my toolbox up on my desk here it is i hope that's in the shot because i can't actually see uh, God, it's the most bizarre thing to try and work backwards. Anyway, it's on my desk. And uh, I need labels and things, but I really want like copper foily looking because obviously the study's got like the copper vibe going on with the accessories and the light above my desk and stuff. So, yeah. I'm gonna get on I suppose I've already eaten my breakfast my coffee is here I haven't drunk any of my coffee till now mm. that's the excitement of today <laughs> good morrow I know some of you liked that last week so I thought I can return it's Wednesday the 13th of May I've nearly said June god knows why I thought it was June um I have makeup on today. Ooh, ah. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a Google Meet with the kids. I'm even wearing school uh, dress. It's Asda, if you're wondering, ages ago. So um, I thought I'd just try and be as like normal, familiar as possible for the children. I've got enough change going on right now. I just thought I would just look like I normally look like at school. I mean, flat hair included in that. So yeah. So I, I've I've got my cereal here. I've already had my coffee. I drank while I was uh, putting the base on. Um, so that's at half past eleven. So I've got a little bit of time yet. Uh, the washing is on. If you can hear that in the background. Um, yeah, my teacher toolbox is here now. Ooh, ah, looking all nice. Um, I am going to change the labels though. Um, hopefully to match the my teacher planner as well and do some uh, teacher planner ones which will look really cute and um, I might do some prints to match my planner as well just because I'm just that extra person I am. Um, yeah so today I have got a whole staff briefing 2 till 2.30 and I've got my Google Classroom meet thing with the kids at half 11 with my TA. Uh, other bits that I need to do, I need to finish some of the reading questions for the week after next because I'm trying to stay ahead. Um, and I'm emailing a piece for the Trust newsletter today that uh, the head and I worked on yesterday. So I didn't really film yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> I was literally in meetings and then I was doing this newsletter and then I was shattered, to be quite honest. I had a two hour nap yesterday after school well it was about six o'clock it's about time to nap really because then i couldn't get to sleep last night but anyway okay sarah um my husband is here hi husband I think that's no i'm talking to where uh, youtube i suppose uh, myself yeah. technically yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on because the cereal's getting soggy and you know, I hate the soggy cereal. Good morning, it's Thursday the 14th of May. Feels like today's been a mission already, like I've got makeup on again and a uh, ponytail and I've got toast for breakfast with Marmite. Love it or hate, let me know in the comments. Um, and I, I just... Like normally I'm really a breakfast person, like I can't go without breakfast, hence why I'm still eating breakfast. Cause I'm a bit of a fainter. Um, but like I'm just really not feeling breakfast right now. Like I didn't eat my frosties yesterday. I couldn't eat my sandwich. Luckily I had some like fish in like a sauce and peas and carrots for my tea. So I did have a good tea, but like, yeah, just not feeling the food at the minute. like. Everyone's like, oh, what are you craving? I'm like, well, nothing. <laughs> oh, I've got to put mascara on. Um, 
Not craving anything, literally. Nope. So, yeah. I'm gonna watch a video, I'm gonna eat my toast. I'm just gonna chill a little bit now this morning. I need to text uh, the two girls on my team about this certificate that we need to organise. So we're just gonna organise that together. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> nothing really to report, I'm afraid. I am excited about tonight um, because we're going for the private scan. Uh, so Gareth can see baby for the first time. So that's really, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, like, is it seven o'clock yet? It's basically how I'm gonna feel most of the day today, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. So, yeah. I'm really bad at checking in in the evenings, it would seem as well, because I've just like kind of had enough at that point. I'm just like, I'm done, <laughs> check out. And, which I shouldn't do, because I'm terrible. I feel like the vlogs are just not very exciting, but anyway. Today I've got a geography meeting at quarter to one and I've got SLT at two o'clock. So they're my two like Zoomy meetings today. I will show you in a little bit what I've done for the reading for the next week. Cause I showed you the uh, Into the Jungle Mowgli one. Um, I'll show you the one that I've done for the week after, after I've had my breakfast. Text that I've done for um, the last week of term. In fact, it's for the holidays. So it's called You Smell and So Does Everything Else. So this is the custom banner that I made using the book cover thing. Uh, and then again, similar sort of questions, ticking answers, choosing the answer. This one's kind of cool. So for each one, you've got to pick one of those things or more. You can have it if it's two things. That's always like a nice one to do, a bit different as a question um so yeah true or false i've got in this one as well i've got a few more like ticky ones in this one because with it being half term obviously we're not going to really get to mark them as quickly or uh, until the end and there's not as many questions either as the previous one so yeah that's the next book basically that we're doing it's non-fiction if you didn't get hello Bums, no. thanks for that Sorry. so we're here the place is here um, yeah, how are you feeling, Gareth? I'm hungry. Gareth missed his tea. He was late. Standard, that's what I do. But I'm looking forward to it. So, although we're not officially finding out what we're having, but hopefully we'll find out what we're having. I know that's the case. So we're both a bit anxious, I guess, aren't we? To, to find mm -hmm. out and get us head round whatever it is, like, just in terms of preparing ourselves mentally for a baby boy or a baby girl. Is it Lucifer or the female version of Lucifer? Because it's going to be a nightmare. So I did have a little joke. Oh, someone's going in. I did have a little joke earlier with Manti about about um, having another one. She said, oh, if he doesn't sleep, you won't have another anyway. <laughs> True. Sorry, I'm just like poking. Another? Another? I haven't got used to this one yet. <laughs> So, yeah, we're just, like, hope everything's okay. Most important thing is that baby's okay. We just, that's the most important thing. And if we don't get to find out what having, like, baby being okay is, is good enough. And to be fair, we either find out now or find out when it comes out kicking and screaming, so. And Gareth getting to see baby is just the most important mm. thing as well. Because, like, that's magical. So, I didn't want him to miss out. So, yeah, fingers crossed on that one. And, um... Yeah, I guess we'll see you on the other side. How are you feeling, Gareth? Yeah, fine, yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna swear then as well. <laughs> I think it got Gareth a little bit in there. To be fair, it's first time he's seen baby, so. I'm gonna be a dad. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really feel like it when we saw it at six weeks because it was just a blob, but when no. you see it like a you little see baby. It moving around and jumping up and down and wriggling and you see its heartbeat and we heard heartbeat and then by the end we're all over the place. We saw it this little foot. This little feet. I know. The contrast is uh, too much. Ugh seriously have a baby. I'm saying that now on camera, but check again in again. 
But, ah, uh, mate. Good morning. So it's actually Saturday today. I did not vlog at all yesterday because, um, firstly, I spent some time with my mum yesterday, socially distanced outside, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I was just like, I don't know, like after the whole scan thing on Thursday, I was just a little bit like just tearing and stuff a, a, a lot and just emotional. So I just didn't really want to vlog yesterday, to be honest. I am finding that the lockdown vlogs are getting just, I don't know, I feel like they're boring. I don't know, let me know in the comments because I don't know whether to keep doing them or not, to be totally honest with you. Like, I just don't know. I don't want to not film something for you, but I don't know, like, if there's things that you'd prefer. I know that the Amazon favourites has been requested, so I'm happy to do that. Um, although half my stuff's at school, so we'll have to improvise. <laughs> uh, so I will film the Amazon favourites one. Uh, it might be in half term, so not this week, coming the week after. Or I might film it at the weekend. We'll see how I feel. Um, yeah, I was just kind of getting to grips with um, the emotions, basically, yes, from Thursday, yesterday. And, yeah, it was uh, it was an emotional kind of day, really, and, Gareth was so lovely and he's been much more like I feel connected since, which is really good. So yeah, uh, so kind of this is the end of the vlog really, like I'm, it's rubbish, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, um, I was wondering also what you all think of the whole year one and reception and year five going back. I know I weighed in a little on Instagram, but let me know your thoughts as well on the whole school reopening thing. I hope you're not aligned with Katie Hopkins. Let me just put it like that. Um, because, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. And maybe I'll see you next week. Let me know in the comments if you still want the vlogs. And um, don't forget to like the video. I don't know why, but please like it. And subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I'll speak to you soon.